Sponsored by RxCardClub.com. Get a free prescription drug card and save up to 85% on prescription drugs. RxCardClub.com, AP Trending Summary Brief at 1.20 a.m. MEDT, Tyreek Hill is detained by police before Dolphins game. Officer is subsequently placed on leave. Miami Gardens, Florida, AP, Tyreek Hill of the Miami Dolphins was handcuffed and placed face down on a street outside the team's stadium after he was stopped for speeding and reckless driving Sunday morning before the Dolphins' first game of the season. The incident Sunday morning left the star wide receiver baffled and resulted in a police officer being placed on administrative leave. The officer was one of at least three involved in detaining Hill. Some fans saw Hill being handcuffed and captured video on their way to the game, and it went viral on social media. Hill was told after the game that the officer was placed on leave and said, that should tell you everything you need to know. Shogun wins record-breaking 14 Emmys at Creative Arts Ceremony as Jamie Lee Curtis gets her first. Los Angeles, AP, Shogun won a whopping 14 times at the Creative Arts Emmy Awards. That's the most Emmys ever won by a show for a single season. The two-night Creative Arts Emmys held this weekend are a precursor to the main Emmy Awards coming up on September 15th, when Shogun, the FX series about feudal Japan, can pad its record with up to five more wins. Nestor Carbonel won Best Guest Actor in a Drama Series for his appearance on the show. Jamie Lee Curtis won her first career Emmy for Best Actress in a Comedy Series for her work on The Bear. Direct TV files complaint against Disney with FCC as Ampass Center's second week. The impasse between Direct TV and Disney over a new carriage agreement has become more heated as it entered its second week. Direct TV filed a complaint with the Federal Communications Commission on Saturday night accusing Disney of negotiating in bad faith. Disney channels, including ESPN and ABC-owned stations in nine markets, have been off Direct TV since the evening of September 1. That meant Direct TV customers were blacked out from viewing most college football games and the final week of the U.S. Open tennis tournament, including the women's and men's finals. Direct TV has 11.3 million subscribers, according to Lightman Research Group, making it the nation's third largest pay TV provider. Tom Brady takes awkward first steps in transition from football field to TV booth. Fox Sports is spending $375 million to put Tom Brady in the broadcast booth, and the network wants to make sure everyone knows he's there. The seven-time Super Bowl champion made his debut as an NFL analyst during the Fox broadcast of the regular season opener between the Dallas Cowboys and the Cleveland Browns on Sunday. But first came a Brady hype video leading into the pregame show. The studio team admitted they couldn't help but fanboy over their new co-worker. Joy in Mud Bowl, Foo. Ball tournament celebrates 50 years of messy fun. Conway, New Hampshire, AP. College football players aspire to play in bowl games. Professional players dream of playing in the Super Bowl. 